Hi everyone, welcome to this session. In the last video, we have seen a little bit about retrained CNN models, use of frameworks in designing CNN models, how we can retrain the pre-trained CNN model, and we have also seen the steps that are involved in building CNN models. In this video, we will see the necessary installation steps, how we can install Python desktop environment, and TensorFlow and other packages using Anaconda platform. There are different ways to install these TensorFlow and other packages, but I advise you to use Anaconda platform. So when you install Anaconda, what happens is um, there are even other Python packages are installed. And some applications like online Python environments, you can directly launch from Anaconda Nav Navigator. So that is one thing. The second thing is you can also create virtual environment when you're working on multiple projects and each project requires separate set of packages or uh, let us say one project requires tensorflow version one other project requires tensorflow version two in that case so when you install those packages within virtual environment you can isolate them so this is one advantage of having anaconda platform anaconda Individual edition is, a, is an open source uh, distribution. So you can go to anaconda.com site and choose individual edition and you will be able to see all the installers. And if you have a Windows system, so then you can go for Windows Python 3.7 and uh, depends on the operating system, you can choose uh, whether it's 64 bit or 32 bit, etc. And so remember, Python 2 doesn't support TensorFlow, so go for Python 3 version. So if, if you have 64-bit operating system, so then you click that, and then you will be able to download uh, Anaconda Python distribution. So once you download it, then you will be able to install it. So you can install it. You can also select uh, Add to Path. So even otherwise, you'll be able to search for Anaconda and uh, you can launch it. So, so no need of click clicking uh, Anaconda add to path. So, so now this installation is going to take some time. And uh, so this will install the navigator as well as Anaconda prompt. And you can see that you can search for Anaconda. So there are two applications. One is a navigator. Uh, through Navigator, you can uh, launch different applications, Python uh, environments. There are web-based environments also available, which you can launch. And when you install uh, Anaconda, the Python desktop uh, distribution, the desktop environment also will be installed. Okay, so now this uh, slide shows some of the packages which can be launched from here. For example, Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Lab, these are all web-based uh, Python environment. And even you have Python uh, desktop environment called as IDLE, IDLE, so that also will be there, that also was installed. But in our case, what we will do is we will not, uh, you know, use these environments, Python environments. Uh, so we will separately install our packages on virtual environment. So, uh, so this is about the navigator. So this is one of the application. So there is another application uh, which you use for, uh, you know, uh, installing your packages. That is Anaconda prompt. As you can see that I'm selecting Anaconda prompt. And this is Anaconda prompt exactly like a Windows uh, <coughs> command prompt. And uh, so you can uh, choose the required path where you want to, you know, so for your project, you have to set up a path. So let us say in my case, uh, I have a path under you know, uh, users, Rama P, and I have created a folder. And you can see that, um, so I have a folder called as DL Workshop. Okay, so you can set this path. So you can change the directory to DL Workshop. So that's going to be my path. Okay, so still I have not created the virtual environment. As you can see that it's still in the base, you know, Conda uh, environment. You have not created virtual environment, but this is my path. You know, my all files will be there in DL workshop uh, folder. 
So now I have to create a virtual environment. Okay, so the command that you can use for creating virtual environments, conda create, and uh, name of the virtual environment, in my case, tf underscore 2020, that's the name I have given. Uh, so when you're working on multiple projects, you can give different uh, names, okay? And uh, you can activate the virtual environment and you can, you know, uh, install packages within that. And now I am just creating a virtual environment and uh, the name of the virtual environment is tf underscore 2020. So, so you can, uh, you can see that this is the step that is used. So I created the virtual environment. Okay, so, but I have not activated it. Still, if you observe here, still it's in the base, uh, you know, command prompt. Okay, uh, so you have to activate it. So then you will enter the virtual environment. For activation, you can use command called activate and the name of the virtual environment. So now you can see that I am in the virtual environment called as tf underscore 2020. Now, though Python desktop environment called as uh, IDLE, I -D -L -E, is installed, but it is not recognized here. So I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, launching IDLE, IDLE, that means uh, Integrated Development Environment. It's a, a desktop Python environment. You can see that it, it is not recognized because this is a virtual environment. Which all packages you need, you install it within this virtual environment. You need to install it. So what I'll do, all the packages which are required for this project, I'll be installing within this virtual environment. So let me start installing Python. So when I install Python, I will not go for the very latest version. Okay, so I'll somewhere, you know, middle. So TensorFlow will support Python 3.5, 3.6, etc. So let me go for 3.6. You already have higher versions also. And under 3.6 also you have other versions. Let me click 3.6. So under 3.6 you have the latest version. Version 3.6.11 that will not be installed. 3.6.10 will be installed. But don't go for 3.7 and 3.8. Don't go for the latest version because what happens is uh, you know the uh, updation of Anaconda and uh, you know uh, this python and tensorflow that will be delayed for some time so you shouldn't use as soon as some new version is released so python is being now installed you can see that uh, along with python some other packages are also installed here the packages which are required you have something called as a pip pip is uh, you know python installer uh, tool Using that pip also, you'll be able to install some. So this is the idle desktop version. Now what I need next is, okay, I can just uh, launch Python shell. Just type Python here. So that will launch the Python shell. This is the Python shell. Okay. Now for, uh, you know, for TensorFlow or, you know, for uh, deep learning, I need some modules, some Python libraries. Okay. So one of the libraries is TensorFlow. TensorFlow, if I want to install it in my Python programming, if I want to use it, then the command is import and the name of the library or a module. So it is not recognized here. You can see that it is not recognized. The reason is I have not yet installed it. The first thing what I'm supposed to do, I need to install TensorFlow. So TensorFlow, again, you have the TensorFlow 2 version, but don't install 2. It will not work you know, on Anaconda, it takes some time for Anaconda to, you know, get to that level uh, to fix those issues which are there in the uh, new version. So go for 1.14. Okay, so this will work perfectly. So I'm installing TensorFlow 1.14 and uh, you can see that if you look at the command, Conda install and Conda forge. Uh, when you use Conda Forge, there are other supporting packages that also will be installed accordingly. Now, as you can see that TensorFlow is already installed and along with that NumPy is also installed. NumPy stands for Numeric Python. It's a module used for handling higher dimensional arrays, including images. Now, what we will do is, 
uh, we will just verify whether these modules are properly installed. So one way is you can just type idle that opens a, a desktop Python environment and you can uh, start importing it. So import is a command if you want to import it. Uh, NumPy. So it doesn't give you any error. That means it is you know imported properly. Similarly, you can try importing TensorFlow. Uh, so uh, if you see here, this is not an error. This is a warning which says that in the future version of NumPy, the some functions you know so they may be different. Uh, so that will be understood. So there's you know slight difference in the name of the function. So, but it doesn't give you any error. So TensorFlow is also imported properly. It means that, you know, so verification is done. And uh, so we are done with the installation of TensorFlow and other supporting packages like NumPy. NumPy is also very, very important. Uh, so in the next uh, video, we will start, you know, using these, uh, the packages for building CNN models.